guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this pretty yellow dinner dress i really like the gathering at the top because it doesn't reveal the size of my breast which is perfect also i want to say that in drafting my pattern and also sewing i don't um use the fashion terminology because i hear yeah, i didn't go to fashion school i just love to make clothes i've been making clothes since i was little yeah so i just love to make clothes i see something i like and i create it and it works perfectly for me so in this um in making this dress we are going to make use of the basic dress block pattern which i have already done i will put a link in the description box and also on the video so the first thing we're going to do in creating the pattern is to trace our basic dress block pattern on our pattern paper just like so i marked the waist and the armhole depth for my friend's dress pattern also trace your back dress block pattern the next step is to mark our back waist length mine is 16 inches then you square across So the next step is also to get our uh, on the bus length. Mine is um, 14 inches. Sometimes I use 13 and a half. So and also square across your armhole depth, just like so. So now we're gonna get the midpoint of our shoulder, and you mark that, and also mark out your bust distance. That's nipple to nipple measurement. So mine is four inches. I have marked so I'm going to connect that point to my shoulder that's just a guideline anyway so I'm going to connect that point to my shoulder step is to create a guideline to get our curve the bust curve so from the under bust you go in one inch and you go up on the side one and a half inches then you connect that point leading down to the under bust line just like so slightly curve that line so it will be sharp just like so so the next step is to go up two and a half inches at the center and you connect that point to the armhole depth At the center front, you also go down one inch. You go down one inch. That's for the C curve. That's the top to make it um, C curve. You can do V or you can do C curve. So you just, um, that's just a guideline. You uh, mark down one inch, then you connect the curve. So this next step is not necessary. I left two inches, one inch for easement and the other inch for sewing allowance, which was not necessary. Apart from the fact that my fabric was not enough, after sewing, like which you're gonna see if you keep watching, the dress was quite big. I had to cut that out, the, take out the two inches and it was pretty fine. So this step is not necessary. Depending on the fabric you're using, my had a little bit of stretch. The stretch was not adequate, but it was just there, so I could um, use the fabric without a zip. So depending on the fabric you, you're using and the easement you want, so you can add that. So now we're going we're going down um, half an inch or one inch 
the pens and you connect that to the center just like so now you cut your pattern and label also don't forget to get your strap uh, measurement from your pattern I always do that and you just write that down so you don't forget the next step is to um, slash and spread to get that gathering at the top so I'm just using my ruler to create the lines for this the slash lines so all you need to do is just to cut use the scissors to cut at close cut up close to the tip of your pattern just like so and you you spread I there's no measurement for the spreading I just spread all the way until my pattern could not spread spread anymore so and right now I'm tracing leaving my joining allowance at the top that's for the with for the facing and joining allowance down that's to join the top to the dress that's all I did and this is all you need to do to get that gathering and that is all that's it that's it so next is our back oh yeah you cut this out <laughs> sorry you cut this out and we'll go to our back our back is just easy peasy Okay, now for the back, you go down under the armhole deck, one inch or half an inch, depending on what you you used for the front, and you cross that, and you cut out your pattern. Okay, I did the same thing I did for the leaving the two inches allowance, which was not necessary. So you can just let this go, or you can just do same, depending on the easement you want for your dress, and you cut that right out. Don't forget to get your strap measurements very important all right cut your fabric and let's get into the sewing tutorial so now we're going to sew the strap and turn the strap so we need the strap first so that is it now we're going to um, insert the strap on the top of the the top piece of the dress so put the strap where the strap is meant to be those two bulging um yeah that place and the other side and you you cover with the face and i'm gonna put a link of a previous video that i did similar to this i'm gonna put a link so you can see it so you just um pin that and sew all the way around There you go this is my this is how it's supposed to look okay don't forget to sew on the edge of the yeah of the top now we're gonna sew a basting stitch round the bottom of the dress so we can drag to create our gathering just like so so I didn't do too much of gathering because I want to pleat I did a mini pleat while attaching it to the skirt of the fabric which you're gonna see soon so you attach your top to your skirt of your dress and you're gonna um, pin and sew so right now okay um, yeah so you're gonna see the I did a mini you're gonna see that I did a mini pleat on that I, I hope that's the right word pleat so you're gonna um, yeah so ensure that the seat that's the end yeah is not not um it's straight it's not um gathered because it's not necessary you're gonna sew that out anyway so just ensure that it's straight so you have um more fabric for the the rest of the body The 
the next step is to attach our back face into our back piece so you're gonna pin that and you're gonna pin that down and you're gonna sew leaving space to insert your strap I will advise that you put your, your front and your back so you know the space you're gonna leave for your strap so now you're going to drag in your strap I already marked where I'm gonna stop the point I'm gonna stop on my strap so you're gonna drag up to that point and you sew that Okay, this is me trying out the dress after inserting the strap to see if it's okay also after this I stitched the sides of the dress and also I left um, slit at the side you can see the dress right now it's uh, yeah you can see it's loose at the top so this was because of the two inches other ones I left so I had to adjust that yeah so the slit is optional you can leave a slit or not so the next step is for me to run a zigzag stitches on the ends to keep it from fraying so it's necessary you can use a soldier you can use a zigzag stitch so this is it guys thank you thank you thank you for watching my video subscribe that will encourage me to post more don't forget to click on the bell to get notified of my new post. Like, share, comment. Comment, comment, comment. I would like to see that. Thank you. Bye-bye.